never intended to take dancing seriously as a career. During our time, no, no one took dancing seriously. After the passing of my grandfather, uh, the legacy was kind of, it was continued by women. So from my grandmother to my aunt, uh, to my cousin Heshma, my sister Umi. It's been the women who have been continuing the legacy of this great man. Since my mother uh, liked this uh, Sri Lankan culture, she sort of pushed me into a class. I went on stage for the first time when I was six years old, in 1958, I think. I grew up in an atmosphere where there was always the performing arts was happening. There was music, there was dance, there was theatre. I've been dancing for over 50 years. Somewhere along the line, I became the dancer I was. It wouldn't be wrong to say that uh, I must have started dancing when I was in my mother's womb. It's just that you keep doing it and you learn it. There was a time that when they both stopped dancing, I had to carry on, I had to travel, I had to lead the company, I had to do the, uh, run the school, I had to do most of it alone. I was always a leader. I always led the company and the, the, the biggest uh, achievement was for me to have been in that level to be able to carry on their legacy and take it to the next generation. I'm still in the process of achieving things in my career from starting to dance to performing on stage, becoming a part of the Chitrasena Dance Company. Uh, becoming the principal dancer, getting to travel and tour and then meeting your dance icons. Uh, so uh, each goal and achievement uh, uh, I, I am uh, reaching but uh, it's still in the process, there's a long way to go. All the females in my family are very, very headstrong and uh, so the role of a woman has always been very dominant for me. I read a lot. I have a machine where I sew. My free time, I I just love watching dance and theatre, movies, and I read. Uh, I read a lot about dance and what is happening in the world, where the dance is going. These days, I'm just glued to Netflix. 